Yo, this is expired. Hey, don't pour that. Uh, why not? This is oil. Here, let me show you the cup. Hmm, let me see. According to Green Tracks Network, municipal water is safe to drink. As we go through urbanization, the environment is changed and the ground doesn't absorb the liquids as well anymore, creating runoff into rivers, streams, and lakes. The National Environment Policy of 1969 was signed into law by President Nixon on January 1, 1970. This was considered the start to the Clean Water Act and eventually led into the Safe Drinking Water Act. As you saw from the animation, agriculture is one of the worst industries for pollution to our lakes and rivers. I think it's doing a lot of good stuff for the community and the environment and I think we should keep pushing it forward. Some people think that the Environmental Protection Agency is contributing to lessening the pollutants in our waters by increasing the penalty fee from $37,500 to $51,530. By having stricter penalties, there has been a slight decrease in violators of this act. Some people disagree with the Clean Water Act. These people are industries promoting urbanization, urban sprawl, and big mining businesses. They see this law as a limitation as to what they can do with their waste. As most miners dump their unwanted materials and oil into the nearest body of water and don't care because they just want to do their job and profit from it. However, this is not beneficial towards the environment because it's an ongoing increase of pollutants in our ecosystem. Another opposing stakeholder is President Donald Trump. He believes the regulations are too harsh and should be vetoed. He has said in numerous parts of his election campaign that he did not support many aspects of keeping our environment clean and healthy for many years to come. Okay, so I think the question is how does water pollution start? Okay, I think it starts because of man's um, ability or to work with technology. Technology moves things along faster, therefore you have all these things like oils, uh, gasoline, all these type of things that run industry, but there's a, there's a bad part about it. If oil leaks or if gasoline leaks, this is where things start off and they start leaking into the fresh water, which later on leaks into the salt water. So this is one of the keys, uh, industrialization of countries are causing more pollution quicker. I think you've asked an interesting question, which is, do you think businesses will change because of maybe new rules that uh, government will instill? Uh, business works on a rule that they're looking for profits and how to live within the rules of the government. So if there's a change to use less oil, less products, they'll find some way of working with that, but still cause to some of the other problems because if there's more combustion there's still going to be more air pollution there's still going to be other things they're using more ethanol to make the air cleaner but then you have to grow more plants there's more waste everything is not looked as a whole people are just making rules trying to think that uh, big companies will follow them uh, they will follow it but their bottom line is profits so it's going to be very difficult so you asked me, do I think water pollution will ever really, really stop? And I think uh, it's a nice thing to think about. It's governments will try to instill things, but if they're still getting paid uh, and if business runs is where all the money comes from, it's not going to ever stop. And we could change things in the U.S., but it's not going to change something in Canada. It's not going to change something in Korea or in China. If China has different rules and they're twice as big, three times as big, if India is so many times bigger than us, by us changing our rules and not changing everything else, it still hurts our environment. So I think it's not going to change until the whole world works on the same thing. And But if there's profit out there, the people that are looking for profit will never say let's clean up everything unless it's profitable to them all the ads that are coming out are 
for profit by the ad companies. So somebody is always making money here. So there's always a big controversy. Who's whose pockets are being filled. The Clean Water Act is essential to a properly working society because without it, we wouldn't have safe drinking water. Everyone can use a reusable water bottle. You can also dispose of chemicals properly. Use fertilizers sparingly. Wash your car over grass in comparison to concrete. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Lastly, do not sweep away chemicals and dirt into drains. To take further action, you may advocate to Congress or your local representatives to continue the Clean Water Act. The number and email are on the next screen.